Hey guys, I'm Matt. I'm uh, tech support here at Signature Solar. Today we're going to be covering how to uh, BMS communicate your EG4 LL battery with the LCD screen to your grow watt inverter. We're going to be using the 5000 ES for this inverter, uh, for this demonstration rather. We're going to go over dip switch settings, proper uh, ports to use, as well as inverter settings on the back end so that way your inverter can properly communicate with your battery. So for this instance here, uh, this is this is meant to be a simulation. You, you've pulled your battery out of the box, you've put it in your rack and you've already switched it on and you notice your dip switches. So these dip switches are the identifying factor for your battery. Think of it as an IP address for your battery individually. Each of these dip switch settings is unique to that battery. So in order for your EG4 LL battery to communicate with your grow watt inverter, this dip switch setting needs to be down, 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 and the fourth switch needs to be up. Now, because our battery was already on whenever we had to change our dip switch setting in order for the battery to realize the new dip switch, we actually need to completely power cycle our battery. So once you've switched your battery off and you've let it set for a moment, go ahead and flip that back on. And when your battery comes back online this time, your battery will now recognize it as it being in address number one for the EG4LL, which is the default inverter communications channel. So now at this point, you have got your battery dip switch in the master communications um, configuration your battery is on you'll take your communications cable and you're gonna come out of the RS-485 port in the front of the battery so once you've connected to the RS-485 port on your battery you're gonna come over to your inverter and you're then gonna go right here into the BMS port so once you've hooked up there the communications between the battery and the inverter are complete so now the next step would be to turn on our inverter. Okay, once your inverter is up, we're now gonna access the menu and we're gonna get your inverter settings up and running so your inverter and your battery can communicate. All right, so if you have multiple batteries in your stack and aren't just dealing with one battery, an important thing to keep in mind is that you do need to daisy chain these batteries together. Now, in order to do that, you're gonna take your communications cable starting at the bottom of your battery stack, and you're gonna plug into the communications port, which is the furthest, most right port on the battery. Once you've plugged into there, you will come up to your next battery, and the, the end of that cable will then go into the battery port right next to the COM port on the one above. And then you would just repeat that process for every battery all the way up the stack until you end on your master battery. All right, so you daisy chain them all the way up the stack now and on your master battery, it should end with you having a cable coming into your battery port here from the battery below it. And then you'll have your cable going out of the RS-485 port here and into your inverter. All right, so in the spirit of multiple batteries in your stack as well, your ID switches, your dip switches, need to be different from one another. So if you had five batteries in your stack, your master battery, the one communicating with your inverter, would need to be in the down, 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 up position, as we mentioned before. Every other battery after that can have any dip switch configuration you would like, so long as no two batteries are the same, and so long as no other battery has this down, 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 up configuration other than your master. All right, guys, so once you are connected from your battery to the BMS port of your inverter, it's now time to set up the inverter settings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mash and hold the enter button for three seconds to access the menu. We're then gonna scroll down to menu number five. Menu number five is the battery mode. So once here, we'll hit enter and we'll make US2 blink. We're gonna hit the down arrow key until we see LI. Once we see LI, we'll hit enter. When you do that, it's gonna bring you to submenu 36. This is gonna be the inverters communications protocol for the battery BMS. We want this menu to say L01. So in order to get there, we'll hit enter. The first digit will flash. We'll hit enter again. The second digit will flash. Then just hit the up arrow and make that say L01 and hit enter again. 
Now that the 36 is flashing, we can hit the escape button and it doesn't look like anything's changed. So if we go back into our menu and we go back to number five, that should now say LI, which it does. If you want to ensure that you are properly BMS communicating, another way to ensure that that is happening is to come to your inverter and unplug your BMS cable from the bottom of the inverter. Within 15 seconds, you're gonna get error four and error 20. Error 20 is the inverter telling you, you have said I have a lithium battery with a BMS, I am calling the battery and they are not answering. Error four is you have told me I have a lithium battery with BMS and I don't read any voltage, therefore your voltages are low, you need to check on your batteries. As stated, there are the errors. So once that happens, simply plug your cable back in, wait for 15 seconds and both errors will clear and you will then have confirmed for yourself that you are in fact BMS communicating with your batteries. Errors have now cleared. We are successfully BMS communicating. All right, everybody. I really hope this updated video on how to properly BMS communicate from your EG4 LL uh, LCD screen battery to your grow watt inverter has been helpful for you. Um, if you would like to see more of our tech support breakdowns here at Signature Solar, be sure to give us a like, subscribe, comment, let us know. Thank you guys so much.